I built this UHF TV antenna that I want to install in my attic. The cable run is going to be about 150 feet long. After some quick testing, it became really obvious that I'll need an amplifier due to signal loss in such a long length of cable. I bought this powered preamp made by Channel Master. It has really solid all-metal construction, which appears to be totally sealed. It's designed for both indoor and outdoor use. You'll want to install the preamp as close to the antenna as possible. The antenna in port connects directly to the ballon on your antenna. The second port that's marked DC power and out serves two purposes. This is an input for DC power, which powers the preamp, and it's also an output for the RF received by the antenna. This is a cool design because it means you can power the preamp from the far end of your cable run, where you will most likely have access to power. The preamp comes with this splitter that manages sending power to the amp and receiving the RF signal. This splitter has a switch for choosing either the low or high gain setting. The LED in the top right corner of the preamp shines green when using the low gain setting and then red when using the high gain setting. You can see the wall adapter that powers everything through the splitter, and the white cable at the bottom is your output that goes to the TV tuner. Okay, I mounted my antenna in the attic and I'm ready to hook up the preamp. I'm really impressed with how solidly constructed it is. It comes with a nice heavy mounting bracket that is a clever multi-piece design that allows you to mount the bracket and then attach the preamp to it with two screws on the sides of the unit. I also like that the two coax connectors are located at the bottom of the preamp, which seems like a good call for trying to protect it from water when installed outside. Okay, let's start hooking things up. This cable that goes down to my basement connects to the DC power and out connector. Power will be sent from the basement up to the preamp through this cable, and the antenna RF signal will go down the same cable into the basement. I really like this design because it means if this was installed outside, you wouldn't need to have any additional power cables go into the preamp. Now we can connect a short length of cable to the ballon on the antenna to the antenna in connector on the preamp. All right, this is looking pretty good. I should also mention that this preamp has LTE and out of band filtering, as well as a passive bypass feature where the preamp will continue passing RF signals even when the device is unpowered in a situation like a power outage. Here's the other end of my cable run down in my basement. I'll eventually mount all of this on the wall, but I wanted to walk through what's going on here. We have the preamp power supply here that goes to the right side of this special splitter. The cable on the left side of the splitter is the long cable that goes up to the antenna in the attic. The top of the splitter is what goes to your TV tuner. In this case, I'm connecting that to the input on my HD home run. I can open the HD Home Run app on any of the devices in my house, and I'll have access to live OTA TV. Looking at the HD Home Run settings, you can see the signal strength and quality are strong, even with my 150-foot cable run, all thanks to the Channel Master preamp. Okay, I think that just about covers everything. Catch you in the next one.